here's your four steps that will result in cons consistent, progressive, sustainable fat loss and will get you pretty close. Some people will get them all the way, but pretty close to a healthy body weight. Okay. So a nice, generally healthy body weight. Okay. Here they are. Hit your protein targets, the ones that I mentioned earlier, about a 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of target body weight. So if you need to lose 50 pounds to get to your target body weight, use that as your guide. Okay. So target body weight in protein and grams, prioritize that. So that's number one. Uh, avoid heavily processed foods. That's number two. Heavily processed foods make you overeat, period, end of story. They're engineered to do so. And if you eat them, you will eat more. It'll be very difficult. So if you avoid them, you'll naturally eat the right amount. Okay, you're much more likely to eat the right amount. So, th so those are the two dietary things. Number three, strength train. Okay, at least once a week, ideally twice a week, but at least once a week. Do some form of strength training and try and get stronger progressively over time. And then here's the fourth one, number four. Walk after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's it. If you just did those things consistently, by the way, if that's too much, that's okay. Start with one or two of them, do that until it becomes consistent, and then add the next one, okay? But if you just did those four things, if everybody watching, listening to me, did just those four things, they would all get pretty close, if not all the way to their ideal, I should say, uh, healthy body weight. When it comes to burning fat and getting to that ideal body weight, there's two different layers to that. There's the person that needs to actually do what you just said and get there. And then there's maintaining that over the long term. Yeah. So working with people over the years, how often do you see people who do get to their goal, put that weight back on, you know, two, three beyond years down the line? Well, God, uh, the data is clear on that. Uh, 90 plus percent of people gain the weight back. Now, people who do it right, people who do it in a way to where they develop a good relationship with it. Um, they, it's not hating life. They do it in a sustainable way or it integrates into their life. They're not working out well beyond what's necessary. They're not starving themselves or eating in unsustainable ways. Right. So people who do the right way, your success right now is much higher, much, much, much higher. I mean, towards the end of my career, I got really good at this, uh, where, um, a good, I mean, a majority of my clients, would, would really develop these behaviors. And then that was it. It was what they did for the rest of their life. So it's possible if you do it the right way. If you do it the wrong way, it's almost impossible. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. The default is going to be, you're going to be obese. You're probably going to develop diabetes and you're not going to feel very good. And that's just, that's just the way it is. And you have to step outside of that in order to change things. Muscle is so protective. In fact, that is...